In Arahana, I was taught the protocol as a type of introduction. It is a way to introduce yourself into a place. It can be just as simple as saying your name, where you're from, and or why you came to that place. It is important to let someone know you are there, to show respect to them and their land, and to learn more about that place. Aloha, my name is Magnolia Paget and I live in Pukalani, Maui. Aloha, o mihina Gabriela Braun Koinoa, no Maui Mayo, no Hoao Makamoku o Wailuku ma ke ahapua o iao. Aloha, my name is Kao Nohi o Kalai Kapiko ke anu inu e Kavalo a Casco, and I am from Kahana Maui. Ike means knowledge or to see and experience. Aina means land, earth, family, and foundation. Together, Ike Aina means knowing about the land you are in and having a connection with it. It is also important to know where you come from so you know where you're headed in life. Then you know more about yourself, your history, your ancestors, and more about your family lineage. Ike Iala Aya Mako Mahoku Nui Maui He Regenerative Farm Maka'ahupua o Piiholo Aiole Makawao Makamoku o Hamako Poko Mamaui Nei Having a connection with the Aina is important because the Aina provides for us. Gives us life, air, and natural resources we need to survive. We need to re-establish our relationship to the Aina and respect it as we do our family. By doing this, our future generations like myself will have a place to live and love like I love my Aina. Polyforestry or Polynesian agroforestry is a unique reforestation method developed by the Ohana Heva Heva, which fuses indigenous Hawaiian farming techniques and knowledge with modern day tools and technologies. This method involves dense biodiverse plantings, in which many varieties of native plants and canoe crops are planted close together. Understanding the Kalana Mahina or moon phases is important in understanding how the water moves through the plant to know what, when, and how to plant. Planting species close together helps fend off pests and diseases without the use of harmful chemicals. Mulching helps the plant grow by preventing evaporation, trapping moisture in the soil, and preventing weed growth to create a better environment for our plants and our island. This type of Ohana style planting combines native trees in the canopy, canoe crops in the sub canopy, and understory plants. Native canopy trees collect rainwater and fog, then distribute moisture evenly outward, down through the root system and into the aquifers, which makes us fresh drinking water. Subcanopy canoe crops are the second filter of the forest. The subcanopy breaks the fall of the water, protecting the ground cover and soil. We utilize canoe crops because it provides food for us and the Aina. Lastly, the understory is the ground plants and mosses. They're important in protecting soil from erosion and keeping nutrients in the ground. In this Ohana style planting method, each male kanu has an important role to play. A productive forest is a biodiverse one. All plants have different personalities that work together to help the Aina flourish. Just like the male kanu, Kanaka can have an important role to play in the community by contributing their unique personalities, knowledge, and skills. Kanu Kaike uses this male kanu mindset to help Kanaka find their function in the forest. I can relate to Lai because they are easy to get along with and make people feel comfortable. They are not easily disturbed by other people or things. And Lai is always there for you when you need them. I aspire to be a Ko because they are leaders and they stand out in front to protect everyone. And they are extremely generous and caring until there is nothing left to give. The Kukui is humble and wise. It is giving and shares its wisdom with others. I feel like I am most similar to the Kukui because I like to teach others. I can also relate to people of all ages, and I share things that are important to me with the people around me. I aspire to be an A'ali'i. The A'ali'i is steadfast and brave. It is not afraid to speak its mind or stand up for others. I can relate to A'ali'i because it is a bold, steadfast plant that doesn't get flustered over the petty kind of stuff. I can also be a little stubborn, just like the Ali'i. I aspire to be Kupu Kupu because it is a strong, responsible, and hardworking plant. Kupu Kupu is a protector, and I admire the work that it does and the strength that it has. I can relate to Ohia because it is a strong leader, but also relies on his team. It's tough and firm in its stance, but able to adapt to many environments. 
Ohia is also social and shows responsibility in any situation. I aspire to be Kukui because it is humble and firm-rooted. It's also a provider willing to share its many resources to others in need. I hope you learned about these mea kanu and would treat natural areas as you would your family. Just like the mea kanu in the forest, we are all one ohana and each have a role in protecting the aina and community. Focus on the ahu poa'a you live in. Educate yourself on the issues in your community and the environment around you. Thank you for watching our virtual hua ka'i te hoku nui and we hope you share this to your friends and family and tell them why is it important to protect this aina for the future generations.